somebody help me get blood crazy in the house. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's take the hand and mind your body. He's awesome. Come on, come on. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. We give you all the Already. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahoite, one of the three mighty men with David. When they defied, say defied, the Philistines that were that were there gathered together to battle. And the men of Israel were gone away. Oh my God. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary. And can, can we read that part together? Until his hand was weary. I'm reading from the King James Version. I don't know if you can find it. Until his hand was weary. Oh, God. And his hand clave unto the sword. 
and the Lord wrought a great, can we say that part? And the Lord wrought a great victory that day. And the people returned after him only to spoil. Bless the name of Jesus. My word for you today is grip it. My God. Just look across to somebody and say, grip it. Oh, uh, come on, come on. I know I know it should be socially distant, but I want you to look look at them wow, with, 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 with some energy, man, and say, grip it. Uh, I wish I wish I wish I had two persons that can can, can help me. Come on, somebody. Uh, let, let me tell you, in this season, in this time, there is something that you must hold on to. I don't know if anybody losing them sanity. You just walk outside now. You're tired. Oh, come on. I've been locked up. But I come to tell somebody today, grip it. Hold on to what you believe in. Oh, come on. Get excited. Get excited, church. Get excited. Say, grip it. Say, name up. Grip it. Hallelujah. Grip it. Grip. Oh, God. Grip. 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 Hold on to it. Oh, come on. Grip. 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 Great resistance in pressure. I wish I had a church preaching to. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody just look up behind and say, Lord, I thank you for the strength that I will receive today to grip it. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Here we find, amen, this is the last recorded words of David. Uh, uh, and we see David is, is, is revealing some wisdom. But what we also get a glimpse into is the, the men that stood with David. Now let me tell you something. These men were not only with David when he was a king. But they were with David from the moment he killed Goliath and, 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 and going through the, 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 the roughest times of his life. Uh, I come to tell someone today that you need people in your life who will just fight with you and for you. I wish I had a church preaching to. Oh, come on, somebody. Not everybody, amen, amen, you need to surround yourself with, to show up. You just need some people to fight with you and for you. Am I preaching to anybody today? Uh, you need some good people to surround you who will just call you just to check up on you. I wish I had a church preaching to this morning. Hallelujah. And, 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 and it's amazing how I realized that David had an issue with his flesh, with his ego, and with his family, but not with his mighty men. Ah. There was no war among them, but David had an issue with his son Absalom. Come on, the church, somebody help me preach. Uh, David had an issue with his flesh and with his ego because when he was at a place, he could not number what God has given to him. The Bible said God was angered against him. But they, when you have people that is in your corner, when you have people that fights for you and with you, come on, church of God, you don't need amen to be in any bickering and arguing because they stand with you all the way. Uh, in the same passage, when you read a little bit down further, the Bible said David was also saying, oh, oh, I wish I was I could drink from the wells of Bethlehem. And then over here, David, you know, and then said, here we're going, we're going to go for some water for the man of God. I don't know if anybody with me today, but you need some church people uh, not to fight against you, but to stand with you in your time of trouble. Saul was against David, uh, but God said, uh, but the Bible said that he had mighty men surrounding him to help him through his time of need. They fought with him from the very inception and beginning all the way to the throne. We need people in our lives that will fight with you. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We need people in your life that will fight with yes. you. Fight with you. None of the mighty yes. men went after the throne. His son did. He had an issue with his family. He had an issue with flesh. But the men that surrounded him were solid. They stood with him. They stood with him. Is anybody with me today? They stood with him. Bless the name of Jesus. And they would do anything to see the goal realized that God spoke over his life for him to be king. You need some people who will just pray with you. Just to see you succeed. Oh, come on church. Come on church of God. You need some people to just sow into your life. Just to see you. I don't know if I'm preaching to anybody today. Just to see you succeed. They're not thinking about their own pockets. They're not thinking about their own, their selves, their family. But they're just thinking about you. 
Come on, some of us need to be selfless and not selfish and grab up things for ourselves. But when we look and say, look, this person needs help, I'm going to help him. When we put ourselves into helping somebody else, then God will in turn bless us. Do I have a church preaching to today? When God sees you helping somebody, it moves his heart. Come on, somebody, it moves his heart. And God must get up and say, I will bless him. God. Because he's blessing my servant. Hallelujah. So he had mighty men surrounding him. And reading this passage, one in particular jumped out at me. I love, I love this. I love it. I know, I know the first one sounds good because the Bible said he was the chief among them. He was the star boy. Uh, there's a second song that said, I'm, I'm sorry, let me not go here. Uh, but, but, but he had a spear. And the Bible said he used his spear and he killed 800 men. And that sounded so good. But, 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 but when, I, when, when I went on a little bit further, I saw the name Eliezer. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said that he fought until his hand, anybody, anybody weary, uh, uh, until his hand was weary. But, but, but what struck me is that he was tired. Uh, Oh God, but the Bible said that his hand cleave. Somebody just grip it, grip it, grip it. But his hand cleave to the sword. Let me show you something. There must be a love and, and an appreciation for the weapon you use. Uh, look to your neighbor say, neighbor, choose wisely the weapon you use. You see, you see, if you don't choose wisely, it will affect your destiny. Am I preaching to anybody today? But you must choose the weapon that you use wisely. And when you choose that weapon, you must understand that your tools you use will be effective in delivering, oh God, your, your results that you desire. Is a church with me. If you're using a laptop that slows up and that freezes up, am I preaching to anybody today? It will not deliver the desired results. Come on, somebody. The tools that you use must be effective. I wish I talked to somebody today. Your, your tools must be effective. And there must also be an appreciation for the tools you use. Am I talking to the church? The man of God was so appreciative and in love with the tool he was using. The Bible said even though he was tired, he somehow his hand found strength. Somehow his hand found some form of strength and he did not bow in what he was doing but he held on to the sword. I wish I wish the church was with me today. The city neighbor said, neighbor, you may be tired but when you know the tool you use, when you know the weapon you have in your hand, you can get the victory. Somebody say victory. Somebody say victory again. When you understand what is in your hand, ah, then no devil, no demon, no depression, no COVID-19 can stop you from executing God's business. Let me tell you something. Don't blame anybody else. Examine the tool you have. Because when you have the proper tool, you can do what God called you to do. The Bible said, Moses, uh, what is in the hand? He said, a rod. God said, use it. Stop the complaining and examine your tool. Am I preaching to anybody today? If I'm preaching to you, lift up your hand above your head. Say, Lord, let me be your tool. Come on, somebody, open up your mouth. Say, Lord, let me be your tool to bring deliverance, to bring change, to bring healing. Anybody with me today, give a shout of praise. Give a shout of praise. Give a shout. Somebody say effective. Somebody say effective. I don't hear the church say effective. You must be effective in what you do. We can't have people who are ineffective in kingdom. Am I preaching to anybody today? We want some sharp, effective people. That when you are called to do what you are called to do, there's no questioning that you will execute with excellence. Do I have a church up in here? Do I have a church up in here? Say, neighbor, I am sharp. Say, neighbor, I am ready. Say, neighbor, I will cut. Am I preaching to any warriors up in here? Let's look on your hand again and say grip, grip, grip. Say grip, 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 grip. Grip it. 
This season is a season where your grip strength is needed and necessary. Is anybody with me? Come on, somebody. You need to be effective in what you are doing. And what you want to understand is that when you're effective, you examine the things you have. Is the church with me? And you utilize it to the best of your ability. Some of us complain too much. Just grab hold to it. Oh, is the church with me? The man had a rod. And the rod went down to Egypt. Anybody know what I'm talking about? The, 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 the rod so too pretty. The man had a piece of stick. And the stick went down to Egypt. Come on somebody and spoke to Pharaoh. I wish I had a church in here. And the eat up snakes. It turned water into blood. It called out flies and plague. Lift up your hand if you're a tool and an instrument to be used. Say Lord use me for your glory. Say Lord use me for your purpose. I am here to be used. Anybody with me today? If you're with me say yeah. Say yeah. I don't know who wants to get down until you're not getting down until this season. Come on, come on, shake somebody, shake, shake, shake off that spirit. You're not getting down one. We speak to every tribal in this house. We speak to every tribal in this house. If you're watching online, you shall not be down I said a word of prophecy to somebody in your house. I said fire to your house. You shall be awakened. Any tools in here, any weapon in here, any sword in here, you shall arise. You shall prophesy to your finances to arise. Somebody wake up, somebody wake up. Come on, somebody. You shall not go down. I said a word of prophecy. Fire shall hit you. Resurrection power. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. Say yeah. Sometimes you don't understand that when you go like this, sir, and 
will lift up something, something caught in the realms of the spirit. Am I preaching to anybody? I don't know if Stephen wants to attach itself to you, but in the name, somebody get on fire with me. Somebody get on fire in the name, in the name, in the name of she with chocolate. from mental slavery. Is a church with me? It is a slavery that comes in your mind. You need deliverance first in your mind. That's why the Bible said, with the mind we serve God. Hallelujah, church of God. There's a breastplate of righteousness because the heart must be God and the emotions by what is right. If it was in all God, if it's your emotions alone, you run up and down and you do some things. How am I talking to anybody today? Some people do some stuff to you, and if you weren't guarded by the righteousness of God, you would retaliate in a manner that, oh, I'm not preaching to anybody today. But the rightness of God, righteousness is not of man. All righteousness is like filter out. But the rightness of God, God's your emotions. Amen. So you respond as all you want to respond. It guards your heart. The feet is covered. And the kosher with peace. See the walk of that spread rumors are oh God Almighty. I don't understand how people can be church people yet they're walking so in this God. But your feet must have on somebody help me now. Your feet, your feet must have, that means in this season of COVID, they need to be visiting somebody and say, How are you doing? People don't check on people anymore. There's a spirit of selfishness that has crept into the church. But I come to pull the weapon up. Oh, come on, somebody, and sever every time. Hallelujah. The way it has truth. Yeah. Now, the, the thing is this. As a warrior, when he speaks about girding the waist, it wasn't speaking only about your waist, which is what? The belt thing. But it also speaks about wrapping the entire area. Shanda Kuri. I don't know if anybody see what I'm talking about. Because when you are a warrior in that time, and when you go into war, you have to be a man. So you, as a man, everything must be in position. I hope you're finish visualizing what I'm saying. There can't be any feeling about, there must be a whole, ah, uh, come on somebody. So truth is in that area to grip and put things into place. Flesh must be under. Uh, can I talk to somebody? Yes, see, flesh can come in and kill your destiny. But there must be truth to hold you in line. Come on somebody, help me say amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Most of the, the things that Paul described were defensive weapons. Yes, sir. To guard yourself. Yes, sir. But there was only one weapon that was an one of can you preach with me? There was only one weapon that was an offensive weapon. And that was the one. I know, I know you know it. Which one is it? It's not the peace. It's not the salvation. It's not the all the breastplate of righteousness. And yes, they Jesus love the truth. But you need to be on the offensive. I come to preach with somebody today that your perspective must switch. That your position must switch. No longer will you defend. It's time to attack. Oh, I'm not preaching to anybody. We're the warriors in the house. It's time to attack. It's time to get on the offensive. For too long the enemy is at you. But let your prayer life turn right over. Say turn, say turn. There must be a turning. There must be a shifting. I come to preach to the church today to let you know, yes, we are in some times. We may lose some love one, but we shall not be alone. I have the weapon with me. Am I preaching to anybody? Come on, somebody help me. Draw for your sword. Draw for the spirit. It is sharper than any two 
two-edged sword. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. I feel excited. I feel excited. We're not going to chop any grass today. We're going to sever every ties that the enemy wants to put on you. Any warriors in the house, get on the offensive. Look to your neighbor, say neighbor. Get on the offensive. Say neighbor, I, I know. I know you're tired. I know things are new. I know you can't find it. I know people owe you money. And you want cuss and want bad. I know they're stressing your work. Come on, somebody help me. Am I preaching to anybody? I know you're young. And the flesh want to rise. I know you have not called Shia. I feel the Holy Ghost pushing me. Come on, somebody help me. I know it don't look pretty. I know, I know, I know, I know. And the situation talking to you. But the Bible said that his hand clear. Somebody grip it. Somebody grip it. Somebody grip it. Somebody grip it. But his hand grip to the sword. Say, neighbor, I will not let go. I will not let go. I Somebody stop. Repeat it. Repeat it. Not. Uh, stand to your feet, man. Stand up to your feet. Uh, say, COVID. I will not. Come on, church. I will not let go. Shout it again. Shout it again. Shout it again. Shout it again. Shout, shout, shout. Shout it again. I will. Who determined? Let me see who determined. Not to let go. Let me encourage someone today. Hallelujah. Let me talk this next point out. Yes, the Bible said that he was weird, that, that, that they left him. Uh -huh. That they left him. Yes. He was alone. Yes. Yes. Is anybody with me? Yes. Anybody feel alone? Yes. They tell us to social distance. Yes. We should be physically distant. Yes. But they tell us to social. Come yes. on. There is a separation that this disease wants to carry. I don't hear the church preaching it. There is a pulling away. There's a discard that there's a spirit working to separate people. Come on, somebody. There's a fear that is being uh, spreading over uh, this entire world. Anybody feel alone? You feel alone, you feel like you alone are carrying the pressure and the weight. It's a church with me. But hold on to your sword. Keep watch. You know what? The woman start to sharpen your weapon and your tool. Because you will not relent in this season. This will be your year. This it's not done yet. It's just a start. Come on, somebody. Look here. There, there is a burden taking place. And you're pushing out your baby in this year. 2021 should be a one-year-old baby. You will not go back but you are pregnant to deal with purpose come on somebody help me you may be alone the bible said he was left alone yes. left alone yes. what was his decision strengthen your resolve to stay stand, stand. up on this rock i build my church and the case of hell shall die love out lift up your hand shall not prevail get back to Shia. let me say this to your purpose sometimes needed to be in solitude Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Oh. the scripture said in the darkness and in the secret place i reveal treasures oh. sometimes you need to yeah, yeah, just turn them out just, just lock down some stuff god wants to download new revelation in your belly He's a church with me. He was left alone, but his decision was to fight. Hallelujah. Somebody say fight. Yes. Somebody say fight. Yes. And let me tell you, it's not sometimes an ordinary person who left you. Sometimes your family member. Yes. Sometimes are people who come from church. Yes. See, for me, church, church, church folk, church members, my, 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 they are closer to me than family. Yes. 
I don't hear that. I don't hear the church. I don't know if you feel that way. But love and people must have a connection. There must be a string and a thread of love stitching everybody together. Uh, even though you may be physically distanced in your spirit, there is a connection. Am I preaching to anybody? Uh, that means I will not run when the fight is on. I will help my neighbor. I don't hear the church preaching with me. I'm going to grab up my sword and say, Hey, Sister Tracy, how are you doing? Let me fight with you. But he was left alone. Yet he had a decision to make. And his decision was to keep fighting. I felt alone. My mother died when I was about 21. My father migrated. And my grandmother who raised me, who was my rock, my basically everything, my mentor, who groomed me for ministry from when I was about seven years old. Can I prophesy to somebody today? That you are covered under the wings of the Almighty. And the situation of our passing wasn't a pretty one. I, I, can't, I can't give you details right now. I don't even love somebody and when they, when they pass, your piece of work from you. Because death has a way to do that. Is the church with me? My mother died, father gone, and grandmother gone. Nobody else. Felt alone. You see, there's some persons that you can't download to, you can't say things to. Because they only give you. Yes. Only feed you with some negative stuff. I don't hear the church preaching that. Left alone. Left alone. Left alone. Yes. You're looking for help, but they can't find it. Sometimes they want someone to help you pray, but they can't pray with you. And they're so not, they're not rooted in the love of Jesus. That's even if they're calling to pray, they're, That's true. they're praying about everything else. That's true. Yes. Yes. Left alone. Left alone. And there are some people who not see the calling that God has on your life. And they will distract you from going to your call. And even if, if they don't distract you, don't, they don't bill you and help you to go for your call. I don't hear the church preaching back to you. Some of them discourage you from achieving the purpose that God has on your life. Yes, sir. They do. They do. They talk against you. The job wife spirit. I give God thanks a wife and Apostle Henry. Shaka yeah, yeah. At a point in my life when I realized what to do, I keep fighting. Should I let it go? Should I grip it? Should I let it go? Or should I grip it? Let me say this to you. You can only defend it for so long. If you defend, you will not win. The shield of faith will only defend. It cannot give you an, an, an advantage. Yes, yes, yes. The press plate will block. It, you can only, it will not give you another. You can only defend for so long. If you're playing a game of football, you can't have everybody pack up down defending. I don't hear the church pass. I come to tell you, switch your position. Strike. Anybody with me today? Anybody with me today? Strike. When the striker them there, can I preach to the strikers in the house? Come on, somebody. It's time to be striking. Come on, church. Say strike, strike, strike. Say, neighbor, it's time for you to strike. Hit it. Hit it. No longer should you plan and devise. A time for you to get up, put on your suit. And what? I don't hear the church preaching with me. It's time to strike. Strike. Hit it. Bako Baba. Strike. 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 Time to hit back. You've been getting hits for so long. The Bible said he was left alone. He was in conflict. Conflict should firm your hand. Conflict should make you firmer. People running from conflict in this day and age. No, don't you run from no conflict. Without confrontation, there won't be transformation. Without transformation, you won't have the results you want to see. I don't hear the church. Man. I don't hear the church responding. If you believe sitting down and watching the same thing happen over and over again will bring you results, you will get nothing. I don't hear the church preaching. There must be con there must be confrontation 
confrontation means conflict and that will bring forth a change anybody in here today if you see something happening and it's happening the same way you need to say look I need, I need to talk so now boss this now work with you I'm tired anybody anybody tired now, look here what I love you know the Bible said he was tired come on but he held on to the sword not because you're tired me never say I can't bother it's time for you to be bothered anybody bothered in your spirit about the nastiness that is going on it's time to confront it's a confront it's a neighbor confrontation look at it it was a neighbor confrontation somebody get back get back get back confront Jesus upset the order. Yeah. I don't hear the church talking to me. And, and, and because I am a Christian, which means anointed, uh, anointed like him. Come on, church. You must upset some other. Say, never disrupt it. Say, never turn it over. Turn, turn. Anybody, anybody with me today? Say, turn it over. You're called to disrupt it. Lift up your hands and say, I am called to be a disruptor. Let me give you a hard word. The Bible says, I come not to bring peace. That was the Prince of Peace saying, I come not to bring peace. But guess what? I swear. I feel to run upon them in this house. Come on, sir. When I come to me, bring a sword. There comes a time when the persons who are not helping them needs to go. I don't hear the church talking to me. Drop for your sword. Say so long. But cut it off. Look like I upset somebody today. So long. We know that's not You just give me fighting. Goodbye. So long. What am I going to say about your car? What am I going to say about it? What am I going to say about it? So long. Goodbye, Superman. Is necessary for deliverance. 
Come on, come on, them blood. And we decree, and we declare it now. In the other name, but in the name. Somebody help me shout the name. Help me shout the name. Help me shout the name. Come on, come on, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. One more time, everybody. Say, she. Thank you so much for coming.